morning everybody hi Tanya hello hello I hope you you slept well hi Diane good morning good morning Val hello hello Okay, so words of the day. What is your word of the day? Good morning. Good morning, Jamie Lynn. Great to have you. What is your word of the day? For those of you who I sent the, the list of power words to, I hope you uh, it helped you this morning. Choose a word of the day. Good morning, Andrew. Ooh, epic. That's, I think that's a word that's not on the list. <laughs> Funny enough. Val's word of the day is epic, and I'm just reflecting on the fact that I don't think that word is in the list. Oh my gosh, what a misstep. It's one of those things that if it's too close to you, you don't even know it's there. Resolve, great word. Thanks, Kate. I have a DJ over here secretly who, who manages the music every morning. He's getting better and better. <laughs> Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning, Brittany. Welcome to the five minute morning stretch. Thanks for joining again today. Today we are going to do, um, I don't know, let's do, let's do a viewer's choice, Facebook specifically. Who would like to give us a, um, an area of the body or an energy or a symptom? What's going on in your body that you want us to address today? What is your word of the day? Not your word of the day. I want to know your word of the day, but also what are we doing for our stretch this morning? So you could say, yesterday we did twisting, right? So today you can say like gather energy, maybe you're tired, you want to feel more flow. Uh, hmm? Upper back stretches. Upper back is a fan favorite. You've done that a couple times. Okay, Jamie Lynn, you got it. You're on. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get a good, let's get a good foundation here with our legs. Let's point our toes out. So upper back. So I'm assuming we're sitting at a desk a lot or crouched over, maybe on the couch a lot. Um, and also too, if, if you've been, if you were going to the gym before and you haven't found a solution for the gym, like what I'm seeing a lot of is the people who are actually training and using strength training. When I say they were training, I mean strength training. They were training before and once and, and now they're just more active. There's a huge difference between training and being active. So training means strength training. It means having prescriptive exercises for you. Activity just means running. It means walking. It means hiking. It might be some yoga, but it's not specified training. So if you're feeling like your back doesn't have enough strength, it might be because you were training before and you're missing out on that. So my, I encourage you to seek out some training videos um, or personal training or something. Connect back with your trainer, whatever you were doing before. And if you just never did that stuff, then now's a good time because we are hunched over a lot more. We're working a lot more. Um, so we want to take care of that. Ready? Arms come up. Deep breath in, that's my two cents in my, my preach on training versus activity. Okay, let's spread the fingers wide. Let's do some wrist circles here. Nice deep breaths, close your eyes and just hunker into your feet. Let's bring our arms behind, let's open up the chest. From here, let's slide down one side of our leg, and open up the opposite arm, reaching, breathing, coming through the middle. Switching it out, breathing in, opening up, reach towards the ceiling. One more time, breathe in, deep breath out, come all the way up. Good, last one. Nice, okay, good. Let's slide all the way down our legs. Come all the way down, let's grab opposite elbows. My knees are, I have a micro bend, so they're bent. I'm leaning over side to side, grabbing opposite elbows. My head is relaxed, my neck is relaxed. I'm feeling hamstring, a little bit of low back. Good, from here, we're gonna come up halfway, flatten the back, deep 
deep breath in. On the exhale, roll down all the way where you came from, grabbing opposite elbow, side to side. Good. We're going to slowly come up, halfway, flat back, deep breath in. On the exhale, we curl down, head relaxes, opposite elbow, side to side. You can bend your knees as much as you want. Okay, slowly snake up, deep breath in. On the exhale, slowly come down, opposite elbow, side to side. Good, slowly rise up. Good, we're gonna go all the way. Okay, we're gonna do some inchworm. So the thing about the upper back is it wants stability. The scaps, scapula, really wants stability. So we're gonna give them some stability and some, and some um, stretching today, so both. So we're gonna come down. Hands are gonna be nice and strong onto the ground. Okay, I want my fingers nice and wide. There's no pocket or air in my palm, okay? Nice and flat onto the ground. I'm gonna walk forward into a nice upper plank. My bum's gonna come down, breathing in. On the exhale, without moving my hips too much, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna use my abdominals to bring me back. Deep breath in. On the exhale, I come forward. I don't want this swaying happening in the hips, okay? We don't want this. Okay, glutes nice and tight. Straight back. So put pressure in each hand. Hold your body weight. Deep breath in. On the exhale, straight forward. Good, nice high plank. Deep breath out, walk it back. Good, three more. Here we go, deep breath in. Feeling the hamstring stretch, guys? Just doing some work here. Head comes forward, nice high plank. Good, squeeze the abs, come back. Good, put your body weight in each hand. This is two. Good, get the traps down away from the ears. Nice purposeful movement here. Good, last one. Walk it up. Good, and back. Good, from here, opposite elbows, side to side. Good, from here, slowly rise up. One very, very high. Whew. Good. Okay, the thing about the upper back is it has a lot to do with the upper chest. So if the chest is rounded, your shoulders are internally rotated, this is very tight, it's gonna pull and extend the upper back where it shouldn't be in an extended position. So we're gonna open up the chest a bit right now. Grab a piece of wall. I want your elbow to be on the wall. Wet plant. At 90 degrees, I want you to pin that elbow against the wall. Same leg, open up the chest. Deep breath in, come back. Breathe in here, open up to the upper cavity of your chest, and breathe out. Breathe in, you're kind of leaning at a 45 degree angle. Breathe out, breathe in, open up. Ah, good, one more. Breathe in, good, switch. Good, so you're doing about like three pulses. Really getting into that tissue. Good, one more. That's it. Good. Another trick for the chest to open it up and be able to sit our shoulder blades back where they're supposed to be is you put your hand like this, kind of make like a, a beak, like a duck beak. And you're just going to press into the tissue upper right underneath the collarbone right there and if you have a, a yoga therapy ball i have one over here i'll just show you guys for one second 
I actually have only a tough, I don't prefer this. It's a more of a lacrosse ball. It's too tough, it's too hard. My preference is the rad, rad balls. Um, but you just roll underneath the collarbone. It kind of breaks, it feels so good. Oh, especially women, um, we don't, we don't, we don't um, open up our chest enough, honestly, and we do not use the therapy balls as much as we should uh, in the chest area, but it gets really tight, just like it would for a man, so especially if you're training. Um, so we can use these therapy, set therapy balls for that. Another great one here too is just the lat and the serratus on the wall, up and down. That is like the best. <laughs> so if you have, if you can get your hands on one of these, um, then do it. And if you have a tennis ball, it's fine until you crush the tennis ball and then you realize you have to get a real massage ball. We sell them in our shop. The Epic Shop has them. Um, anyway, okay. So before we go, what I wanted to do today was just do a little bit of breath work. Um, so I want your hands to be just down by your side, your feet out 45 degrees in our nice grounded position. And what I want to do, let's bring our attention to the upper back, back area. So we imagine our shoulder blades, we imagine our collarbone. We're going to open the chest up. We're going to sit our shoulder blades back over top of our hips, making sure we're nice and aligned. We're going to bring our hips back on top of our heels. And where the shoulder blades are, we're going to bring our attention to the breath in that area. So we're going to breathe in. We're going to imagine our shoulder blades opening up. So we're going to stretch from the inside. On the exhale, relax. The shoulder blades come down. Deep breath in. Ribs open up. Shoulder blades open up. We grow a little bit. Deep breath out. And we relax. Deep breath in. Opening up that upper cavity. And breathe out. Good. One more time. And breathe out. Good. Let's bring shoulders up towards the ears. Let's scrunch those shoulder blades up. Good. On the exhale, bring those shoulders back, opening up the chest and come all the way down. Deep breath in. Shoulders come up towards the ears. On the exhale, towards the back and down. One more time. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Good. Last couple breaths. We're going to bring our right hand to our belly. We're going to bring the attention of the breath into the belly. And relax. So I want you to feel the belly rise underneath your hand. And relax. Last one. Deep breath in. And relax. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you, Jamie Lynn, for the prompt this morning for our theme for our daily stretch. I have a treat for you today. Um, I was going to do a little bit of a, a tarot reading for us as a group. Um, you know, I, I really flirt with the, um, on the line of science and magic. Um, and so for me, I try to live, I'm a very curious person. Um, I love research. I love doing things that are effective. I only deal with people who don't have time for anything but effective. <laughs> um, but there's this magic out there. There's love, there's miracles, there are fluffy clouds in the sky, there's, there's serendipitous moments, there are, there's intuition, there's this magic that exists within our world. And the magic that, from a bare bones perspective, we can't explain everything as it is. And so one of the beautiful things that um, I do, um, is I do tarot cards. So I'm gonna pick a tarot card for us today. I'm gonna to read what it says. And maybe it's gonna be what you need to hear today. Maybe it'll give you an idea of a major, um, of a solution to a problem you have. Who knows what? Okay. So these are Rumi, if you know Rumi. Rumi's a fantastic figure. We can learn a lot from Rumi, especially when it comes to love and compassion and kindness. So here we go. I have these beautiful Rumi cards. So I'm gonna pick a card for us today. And I'll read what it says. 
Okay. I love it. It says, let love transform. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll read it to you. Let love transform. And it always starts with a poem, so I'll give you a poem. The spring of love arrives to transform the dust into a garden. The call is heard from the heavens to bid the wings of, a, of soul to fly. The sea becomes filled with pearls. The dry land receives the water of life. The stone becomes a ruby and the body becomes all soul. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Detach yourself from expectations of timing. The harvest will be at the best time when the ripeness is just right. So utterly juicy and sweet, you shall know with certainty that this was the best way. Not a moment sooner would, ha would have been perfect, nor a moment later. Absolute trust is the best way to adhere to the law of love. This gives you rather some energy to spare, perhaps that might have otherwise been engaged in perpetuating worry or doubt. I am so happy to see that you are twiddling your divine thumbs and wondering if you are not going to worry. If you are just going to surrender and trust, then uh, what exactly will you do with yourself? Well, of course, you can just live your life, but perhaps you may want to dance barefoot and wild with me upon the cool sand at midnight under the fullness of the harvest moon. How perfect is that? I think that's so true for so many people. Let love transform. The harvest is not yet ready. We're impatient. <laughs> we need to wait a bit longer and wait for the fullness of our harvest to be ready. You may be twiddling your thumbs with worry and doubt, but stop that because divine timing is doing its, its job. I love that. That is absolutely amazing. We need to be patient, right? Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Rumi, for that. Beautiful. Okay, guys, your morning prompt is just exactly this. So how can you use um, what the card has suggested today to be able to relax into your day and feel more safe, feel more secure, feel more strong? Thanks so much for joining me, guys, today. I so enjoy this. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Love you. Have a great day. Bye.